So recently in Fallout 76, we just got a new in-game horde dungeon event for levels 50 and up underneath Arctos Pharma, and this is exactly what we needed in the game. I would love to continue seeing more of this added. Don't get me wrong, I am perfectly content grinding this for now, but this is exactly what the game was needing. The new event is called Project Paradise and is best done with a group, which I love, but this is actually bringing the multiplayer experience more to life in the game, I feel, by adding stuff like this to bring players together to actually enjoy. I know a lot of players that are up there in levels have been feeling like the events have been way too easy, and I'm right there with you. Pretty much the only challenging event that we had to grind was the Scorch Beast Queen fight. Now we got this new in-game horde event, and it's great except for this bug that is currently happening to a lot of players. But in this video, I'm going to be going over how to fix that in case some of you may be experiencing it. First off, to start this event, we're going to have to travel over to Arctos Pharma, which isn't far from Vault 76 whatsoever. Then we have to take the elevator down when we get here, which the elevator is in the main lobby of the area, not hard to find at all. Now this is where the bug keeps happening to players though. It seems a lot of players, including myself when I was doing this, keep crashing when they go down to try to do this level 50 and up in-game content. And after hours of crashing, I decided to figure out a way to fix this and I came across some information over just simply starting at an area away from Arctos Pharma and that turned out to be my problem. All I had to do was spawn over at Gully Mine for instance since that's kind of close to Arctos Pharma and then travel over to there. I couldn't exactly fast travel to that specific location and go inside the elevator for some reason. I had to like fast travel to my camp which is right by Arctos Pharma or travel there physically on foot from the gully mine up to there to get the loading screen to not crash my game. I'm not exactly sure why this worked, but it works. I'm telling y'all who are experiencing this crash, just do that and it's a simple fix. Hopefully Bethesda gets this bug out of the game pretty fast because this has been a pretty big annoyance to the community. I've seen a lot of players just quit and give up and get onto something else, which sucks because this is one of the best things they've added into the game. This is actually enjoyable content if you get it to work and know what you're doing, which is why I'm trying to go over that in this video. Anyways, once you officially get down here and the event pops up, as you can see, Project Paradise, to officially start it, we need to go down here on this red terminal. And then once we are on the terminal, we want to choose the selection to initialize the experiment. Now from here, we can choose a little secret that we can do during this event, which is to deactivate the robots. And how this is done is by going over to this keypad and entering the passcode 970 930. That code is figured out, by the way, by collecting all the lab biome codes around in each habitat, which can be kind of tedious to find, but hey, the code is right here for you all, so enjoy. Anyways, once you've gained access, you just want to rush down here in this flooded room, and on this terminal down in this room, you can find the shutdown code. Once you retrieve this, you then just go back up to that red terminal that we had to use to initialize the experiment to begin Project Paradise. And on this red terminal now, you will have the option, though, to choose to shut down the bots and have Quirkus take charge, which Quirkus is the quirky robot in here. It's pretty beneficial to do if you want to save ammo during this event, I will say. Heck, maybe even a few stems or even deaths because, as we know, those assaultrons can be a major nipple twister at times. Anyways, now how we complete this in-game event, once we start it up, we have to deliver specific things to the trough, as you can see, for example. Now there are three different habitats down here that will have to deliver things to this mechanism. Each habitat will require us to gather different specific things. For example, for habitat A, we will be required to take out the rat stag and collect the venison to deliver to the trough. Each 20 we manage to get in the mechanism will boost us up a rank, and there are a total of three ranks. If you manage to get rank 3, you'll get the best friendly possible in that specific habitat. For instance, Habitat A, again for example, there is a level 91 glowing friendly death claw that we are able to get, once again, if we get to rank 3, which will have to deliver 60 different venison to get to that rank. And the reason why this is crucial to do, because the higher the rank you get, the stronger your friendly is going to be, and the easier it will stay alive. That is the overall objective over Project Paradise. Basically, we summon this creature and we just have to protect it while taking out the Alpha that comes after us. 
which I think is pretty awesome. Sure, you can dodge the alpha all you want, but you can't get the creature to dodge the alpha all you want. So in that perspective, it makes it more challenging, which is why it's best suggested to get the highest rank possible. Anyways, yeah, that's Habitat A. You can get a glowing Deathclaw friendly, and you'll have to fight a level 100 alpha Sheep Squatch. Habitat B will be located this way from the main lobby, which by the way, you can maneuver around to each habitat by the main lobby. It connects to all of them. Just get to know the area a little bit if you aren't familiar with that quite yet. But yeah, Habitat B is over here, and during this one, we'll have to collect Toxic Sludge, which is gotten from these rad rats around in this area. We can also find Toxic Sludge just laying around randomly too. It's not too hard to find because you know, it's glowing. Anyways, max rank here will spawn a Mega Sloth for our friendly, and a level 100 Alpha Grab the Monster will spawn here for us to fight. Which this thing is a beast. It typically one hits players easily. So, watch out. <laughs> Anyways, last up on this list is Habitat C, which is located this way from the main lobby. Just thought I'd share this with you all, just in case you guys aren't too familiar with this quite yet seems this at the moment seems to be the most difficult to get to max rank i don't know why i honestly think it may be bugged out none of the enemies dropped what we needed from here i don't know if they were supposed to and we had to literally run around picking this moist rad kelp and the thing is there was never enough to get to max rank and we literally tried for hours upon hours I'm not kidding, this is all we did as soon as we went down to Project Paradise. We went straight to Habitat C to see if we could get the best friendly possible. We could never get the rank 3 though. The closest we got was 51, which once again, rank 3 is 60. Each 20 gives a rank, so you know, 20 kelp would be rank 1, which is a Mirelurk friendly. Rank 2 would be 40, which is a Mirelurk hunter. And then the next rank is 60, which we never got to. We just kept getting a Mirelurk hunter for our ally. Which, don't get me wrong, he was able to survive the fight against the Alpha pretty easily. But I still wanted to get a Mirelurk queen, because I believe that's what our friendly would be here. My team and I just could never get it to happen. Once again, I believe it may be bugged or you just gotta be extremely swift on doing this. But once again, we were at this for hours and we just could never get it. Anyways, yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. I just thought I'd make a thorough guide over this. Maybe sometime in the future I'll go over all the rewards that you can get from this place. At the moment, I don't think I've gotten every single reward. But yeah, this is the gist on how you do it. You're just going to have to go to each habitat and collect these certain things and deliver it to the mechanism and eventually get your rank up. And then, after a while, the alpha will spawn. You're just going to have to try to get your friendly to survive the fight against the alpha. So pretty much, it's pretty straightforward. The only problem is getting to rank 3 so you actually have a friendly that can survive. That's the tedious part. But yeah, I'm out of here, everybody. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. And if you found this enjoyable, consider leaving a like. And hey, if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance by sticking around and subscribing. That's always greatly appreciated. As always, though, that's totally up to you. Until next time, peace.